Hey, David Brewster here, and I'm sort of chord play. This is part two of the chords of King's X, and so far on this channel, I've put together one chord play episode and also a three for all, uh, featuring some of the licks from Ty Tabor. And I've had a lot of requests to feature more King's X music. So I figured it'd be a good time to dive in and dive a little deeper. So King's X are essential, and they're a very important and influential prog rock band. They formed in 1979 in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, eventually, like in 1985, they changed their name to King's X. But their impact and influence was heard and felt, you know, almost immediately. And Out of the Silent Planet didn't really do much, but uh, Gretchen Goes to Nebraska literally blew up, uh, had a lot of attention on MTV and, you know, magazines and stuff like that. And definitely it put, you know, King's X on the map, but then they've been criminally underrated and kind of overlooked all these years. They've had a dozen albums, and those first six King's X albums definitely influenced tons of prog rock and prog metal, and just regular rock and metal too. But King's X, you know, definitely has this very infectious sound, and if you don't really know the band, imagine the Beatles and Rush jamming with Thin Lizzy. And that's kind of putting you in the neighborhood as far as what King's X sounds like, even though they definitely have their own signature flavor and sound in their music. So I've talked to a lot of people about King's X and their music and their lack of popularity and this underrated kind of stigma that seems to be attached to them. And I have my own opinions and kind of conspiracies as far as why King's X is so underrated. And I think they've just been... So forward thinking and ahead of the curve, I think they definitely were ahead of their time. You know, the drop tunings and these different types of riffs and sounds and this kind of progressive, you know, rock element. You know, in the 80s when they hit, they were so different than everybody else. They didn't have this keyboard, big hair, kind of glammy sound. They had this prog rock trio from Missouri kind of sound. Very different, you know, music and different direction. And they didn't really fit into what was popular at that time. But I think they were ahead of the game. They were ahead of their time. And now is a great time to go back and listen to some of that King's X music because it sounds fresh and new, even though some of this music is 20 or 30 years old now. The opening, that's The World Around Me from the King's X album, and it's something like this. <laughs> Tuning, and we're really just outlining this kind of aggressive power chord riff like this. So there's a lot of movement right there. You know, we're grabbing this A flat. And we're kind of moving back like that. And you're going to do a lot of position shifting with this riff like that. Right, so I kind of use that same fingering shift it down here. And depending on who's playing drop D, you know, some of these drop D riffs from Tool or Soundgarden or whoever are very challenging, but a lot of uh, King's X, you know, drop D riffs, you know, Ty throws in like different chords and stuff and they're changing up the rhythm, which makes it really tough. Really slowly there. tenth fret right there, so there's a C power chord. Right, so we're doing... Right there. Right. So there's kind of a melody, like, mixed in with all these, you know, one finger power chords. Next up is 
the verse. So we're opening with this D7 sharp nine. You know, think of the Hendrix chord, but Ty is really just playing the top part of the chord and the low E, which is tuned to D, like this. <laughs> partial D7 sharp 9 and pummeling this low E that's tuned to D, occasionally hitting that chord again. And the A flat to G to that D power chord, but you're going to play the low strings first and then play the rest of the chord on top. And then you hear the droned riff, so uh, the verse riff right there. And Ty, you know, definitely did a lot of droned riffs in King's X music, and uh, this is another example of that. <laughs> So it's you know definitely really interesting and we're going to talk about these droned you know chord riffs right there but that's basically loosely kind of outlining uh, you could think of a couple different scales I'm thinking of D Aeolian right there <laughs> C, B flat, and that A, but you're playing it against that open D string. There's tons of songs that have these drone riffs, and we've talked about them in other you know, lessons on this channel. Think of Tool and Soundgarden, and there's ACDC, and there's tons of stuff. But right there. <laughs> So as far as these drum chords and sounds hiding in a lot of King Sex music, and this has definitely become kind of a signature move from Ty's, you know, bag of tricks. But you can, you know, catch this in other bands and guitarist music too. It's not just King Sex. But I did mention, you know, D Aeolian, and we're going to use, you know, the open D string as a drone. So if you think of D Aeolian. <laughs> Right there, we've got D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and C, right? So if we use the open D string and then arrange that scale along the G string and play them together, we could start with the D and the G open, and that's basically a D sus4 right there, you know, implied. And then add that A note, there's D5. Go to B flat, and there's a D flat6. Go to C, there's a D7 implied. D and D is an octave. You move up to that E note, that's like a D9 or a D sus2. Grab that F, that's D minor implied. There's the G, an octave higher than the open string where we started, so that's D sus4 again. And then grab that A and there's D5 way up there. And here we just found this highway of all those drone chords. For an early example of some of these drone chords and ideas, check out the song Shot of Love from the Out of the Silent Planet album and you can catch Ty doing some of this, like this. Also implying a different scale. So now we're not really doing Aeolian. I'm hearing this more Mixolydian. So we've got this, you know, C to D action there. And now you're moving down that C to B natural instead of that B flat we had earlier, and then that A to G. Or 
right there, you're gonna pull off that G, I'm sorry, that A to G, and then that F sharp to the open D. And then do that uh, drone riff again. Right there, you're gonna move down, and when you grab this, back to that D5, grab that single D note, and then hammer on that open G back to the B, or about, sorry, back to that A. You're also letting that uh, D string ring in there too. Like and then do that again uh, the last time, the fourth time. riff and it definitely showcases that droned kind of chord idea from Ty Tabor. Up next is one of my favorite King's X songs. This is Far Far Away from Out of the Silent Planet and it's something like this. <laughs> basically hitting this D5. So right there, we're grabbing D5, we're also adding the 6, that B note right there. And then we're moving to this, and that's basically a, an implied D flat 5, you know, that A flat right there, and then moving down and grabbing that F sharp. So it's like a, you know, an implied D flat 5 to D major. Right there, which is really cool. Right there, that's a really unusual E7 implied, because we move down. Keep in mind, we're still in drop D, so there's E, G sharp, and that D note right there. Um, I like the way that's kind of moving into a different direction right there. And do it again. basically going from that E7 and then we're changing that it's like a E7 you know sus4 basically a really cool riff and I love that kind of heavy groove happening there too favorite King's X songs, and this is Prisoner from the King's X album, and we're in standard tuning for this, and this is the chorus. It's really cool, like this. So we're starting with that A power chord right there. Chord, the low E, D, B to C right there. So it's. And you're going to immediately go to this D over F sharp right there. So you're going to grab the root note and then play the top part of the chord. And then you're moving back to this. That's really unusual. That's like an F6 implied, kind of. And then you're moving to this, which is a partial uh, E minor 7. E open, the open D, G, and then holding that G, or I'm sorry, that D note there on the B string. But I really like this kind of descending, you hear this, um, that kind of descending movement in the riff, like this. And you do it again. It's just F to G5, you know, power chords right there. But I love that chorus part, it's so cool. favorite King's X songs. This is Over My Head from the Gretchen Goes Nebraska album, and we're still in standard tuning. 
something like this. <laughs> power chord the E and it's kind of bouncing around and that uh, open E to that G note to the open E again and then C5 D5 to E5 and you're hitting that low E open you know, all the way up right there the second time do that D to E5 and then you're doing this D, E to that open D again, and then the C sharp to the open A, and that G to the low E open, and then I'm hearing just the C minor 7 right there. I'm not really hearing C, uh, C7 sharp 9. I could be wrong, but I'm just hearing C, you know, C minor 7 like that. Something like this. examples from the song Black Flag from the King's X album and we're back in drop D tuning for this and it's something like this it's really cool so we're in drop D and we're basically starting with this grab that low D that's tuned, uh, it's the E string tuned to D, and then we're going to grab the C and F, so that's basically a partial D minor 7 right there, and then we're moving that down to where we're grabbing that B note right there, right. we're kind of twisting into the 6th right there, so after that, all that again. The second time you've got this quick, you know, one finger power chord move. Like that. And the last time you're doing... And these chords are kind of a signature sound, you know, in King's X uh, music. And we're moving in like this. Keep in mind that's now an F because we're in drop D. There's a C in the open G string, so that's an F sus2 implied. And then we're moving down to this E flat, B flat, and that open G, and that's E flat major. this episode of chord play with part two of the chords of king's x and i'm definitely a fan i've been following these guys since i was in high school and their music is just infectious you know it's very melodic and there's this heavy edge and these crunchy riffs and ties you know great soloing the vocal harmonies and this kind of you know spacious sound they sound massive and they're just a little trio you know but they sound huge and definitely you know a great band and if you're not really hip to king's x dive in they have a lot of great music for sure so anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. And happy holidays.